So on this gauze side, we have a little bit of a damaged um, areas here on top of the toes. I mean, they're not too bad, but you can still see that some damages has happened here. I don't know what has caused them, but the bird came like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to briefly repair that. And what I'm using, I'm using epoxy clay. I'm using the color, the neutral color or white. So basically this is um, from Aves company. They, they have really good products. But um, you gotta keep in mind that I'm not using epoxy sculpt. I'm using epoxy clay. So the difference is that um, epoxy clay dries quite matte and kind of like has a, a look of a clay on it when it's, uh, when it's all done. So I'm using that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna just grab a small piece. Gonna just uh, put a very fine layer on top of the toe. Gotta have a little bit of a water handy because uh, you just need to dip your tool into the water so you can smooth out the um, So there is a small amount of like a small piece of skin sticking out here. It's always best to remove it instead of trying to work with it because uh, they're not going to lay down flat anyway. So Okay, now on both toes, I basically built up what it appeared to be missing. It was like a chunk of foot was literally missing. Now that I have the product on the toes, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do all kinds of different tricks to create the um, scale tone. The first would be creating the lines between the big scales, like that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there is a bunch of them here. So we got one. Okay, I just leave the bigger scale impression first with my spatula. 
And what I like to do is um, get a small fine brush, dab it into water a little bit, <clears throat> and very gently touch those impressions that we made and try to smooth them out. Or so to speak, feather out the edges. So it looks more like the real scale. Same thing with here. And for that, I like to go with the flow of the scale pattern. I like to go sideways. Now, when it comes to this area, all the scales are quite a bit smaller. So I need a very fine tool to be able to leave those kind of impressions. So anyway, um, when it comes to this kind of type of work, you have to look around into your shop and see what you can find to create those tiny little scales. So on the closest thing that I could find that has this a right shape is my nail setter. The smallest nail setter that I have, it has a round head and I was kind of like practicing on, on a piece of scalpel here. I could see that, you know, if I put them all side by side, it will create the image of the small scales on the side of the foot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to dip it into water a little bit so it's not too dry. And then I'm going to start leaving those impressions just like that. Because what happens is that uh, you're probably not going to be able to follow exactly the, the real pattern of those tiny little scales. But once you start doing this and put them all side by side, and kind of like do them half circle instead of pushing them, pushing your nail set straight, I go a little bit at an angle. So I kind of like, you know, half the circle is being, uh, leaving an impression in there. And same thing with, with this toe and what matters is that you make it so blended and um, basically you got to make it disappear they make the damage look it's gone okay now that I have left impressions what I'm gonna I'm gonna check the other side the other side actually needs some too I'm gonna go just like that. This toe doesn't need it. Okay, and after that, when you get your little <clears throat> brush with water, and when you start dabbing them all along, it's just going to blend and feather everything out that uh, pretty much that's exactly what you want. Something that is going to, I mean, like if you put this area probably under giant magnifying glass or microscope or something, you can probably tell which area is repaired. But what you don't want to be uh, seen is uh, with regular eyes. And when we feather it out with, uh, with the water, that's exactly what's going to do for us. It's just going to make it all blended in so our naked eyes cannot see the flaws. That's the whole point. Hide them. And if the impressions are not good enough and they're too smooth, just leave some more because this uh, scalpel clay is not going to dry out too soon. Okay, so right there. Pretty much that's it. And I'm going to proceed with uh, painting right away. Because we're not gonna be touching that too much. It's, it has the good uh, base coat on it anyway. <laughs> 